Good morning. Today we will create a control rig in uh, Unreal Engine. But first we will create a armature or rig in Blender, which we'll then import into Unreal Engine, where we'll create a control rig and then add some custom controls uh, so you can animate it in sequencer. So here we are in Blender. This is a model of a Porsche 911 993 GT2 I created uh, a few months ago. So the first thing you want to do is to apply the scale. And this is very important because if the scale of one of the meshes is off, then the whole control rig uh, won't work. So uh, make sure that you apply the scale for everything. It needs to be exactly a scale of one. So make sure that all of your meshes in the model are scaled uh, one to one. So you don't want the car to be just one solid piece. Uh, you want it to be separated into a body, which is like the main, main part of the car. And then we have a just a very simple cube. It could be a sphere, it could be a circle doesn't really matter as long as it's a uh, mesh that's separated from the main body. And then of course we have the wheels, the front left, the front right, the rear left and the rear right. All separated into their own uh, different meshes. However, uh, when we applied the scale uh, just now, it resets the origin and we want the origin of all the meshes to be uh, in the middle of the geometry. So right click and select uh, set origin to geometry and do this for all of your meshes. And as you can see the origin is now in the middle of all of the meshes. Then we'll remove our uh, mannequin here just for reference of scale. What we need to do now is to create a rig or an armature and uh, today we'll be using this uh, add-on called UE4 Vehicle Base Rigging. A very good add-on which I'll link down below. You just select Vehicle Base and then select the center uh, mesh. And then select the front right, the rear right, the front left and the front, uh, the rear left wheels according to your car. Then select the whole car and press set unit scale and then upscale objects. And this is because Blender uses a different uh, measuring uh, system. I think it uses uh, centimeters and uh, it really uses meters or the opposite the way around. I can't really remember, but uh, yeah, it's uh, because they have different uh, systems. And after you've done that, simply hit rig vehicle and you will now see a armature uh, rigged to the car. We'll be needing a, uh, a separate bone for the body. And that is because we want to be able to control the body uh, separate from the car itself. Uh, and that way we can like um, animate suspension and stuff. So in order to do that, go into the armature and then select one of the bones and then duplicate the bone and you can just leave it anywhere. Now you want to go into the body mesh of the car. So select the armature and go into body. Here we need to uh, snap the uh, cursor to the selection. So hit shift S and select cursor to selected. Then go back to the armature and once again select the bone that we just duplicated and then snap this bone to the uh, uh, 3D cursor by right clicking and then selecting snap, selection to cursor. Now we just need to assign the body to the bone so it uh, follows wherever the bone goes. So. Uh, go into the armature and rename the duplicated bone to body because that makes sense, I guess. And then go into the body mesh of the car. 
hit tab to go into edit mode and down here under uh, object data properties you will now see a, a new group called body and simply hit the body vertex group and assign it to the uh, mesh and now it's just uh, a matter of uh, exporting this into Unreal. So uh, select everything, go into File, Export, FBX, and then choose a location. And you want to hit Selected Objects, change the uh, forward axis to uh, X forward and Z up. This is what Unreal uses. Change the smoothing to face, otherwise you will have a import error in Unreal. And then uncheck the add leaf bones because we won't need the leaf bones uh, in Unreal for our rig. So name this um, preferably SK for skeletal mesh in Unreal. SK underscore Porsche version uh, 001. And uh, there we go. That's the first part of uh, creating a control rig. So uh, now we have successfully created a armature and uh, rig, which we'll be able to import into Unreal, where we can add a control rig and then add some controllers. So uh, press here to see the part two of this and uh, I'll see you there. Bye.